Hello guys! So today, as you can obviously tell from the title, we're going to Trader Joe's, which I love going to Trader Joe's, and it's not even like that much of a like special trip anymore. Well, it is because I don't go that often and I love it, but we have so many here now that we live in North Carolina, and like we have three within like half an hour of us but I just don't go that frequently just because I have other things that are more conveniently located to where we live but I do always really love going there I love seeing like all the stuff that they have like I feel like they constantly have new stuff for like the different seasons and all that so I'm super excited to see what they have um, I don't really have much of a specific list it's just a couple things I want to check out honestly a lot of times I go to Trader Joe's just to like look around and I don't always end up getting a ton of stuff I just kind of enjoy going there which is kind of weird but that is what we are going to do today so let's go so we have arrived I've actually never been to this specific Trader Joe's so I'm excited to check it out I also wanted to show you all I have this um, like shopping list from it was actually from their holiday like little mailer that they sent out in the mail um, so I'm not sure that they're gonna have any or maybe some of this stuff because it's only from like last month but I was looking at this and there's just so much stuff on here that sounded really really good so I figure I'll just bring this with me and see if I can find any of this stuff like almond nog I feel like they would maybe still have like eggnog I don't know um but there's just some really really good stuff on here so I'm gonna see if I can find any of it bread here always looks so good but Ken makes his own bread so we don't typically buy any but it looks good y'all this is the only place that I can find arugula right now like I've been to so many stores and I cannot find just arugula I find like a arugula mixed with like spinach and stuff but I can never find just regular arugula so that's one of the main things I had to get while I was here Oh my gosh, look at these cute little baby cucumbers. Those are so cute. I'm always really excited about their seasonings. Like, every time I see their seasonings, I want to get it. I obviously have this. I really want to try this. I think this sounds good. I think I want to try this dressing to go on my arugula as a salad. That would be, that sounds super good. I need a butternut squash. Okay, I also grabbed a butternut squash because I'm making a recipe with that this week. And that's a huge one. I'm so excited about it. Ooh. This sounds so good. Ooh, they always have free samples here. I'm about to get some. I don't know about y'all, but all these like layers of stuff. I feel like it's overwhelming and I don't even know where to look. There's just a lot going on in these aisles always. Oh, I need frozen Brussels sprouts. I love these little like mini Brussels sprouts. This is the section I came for. Look at all of this stuff. Oh, wow, they even have saffron here, wow. I've heard that these are super good. Oh, they have popping corn here. Oh, no way. This sounds so good. This is actually one of my favorite things they make. The sour cream and onion corn puffs. 
are so good. The white cheddar is good too. All right, I got the goods. However, I just realized that I need to do like my normal weekly grocery shopping today, like for food for next week, which I didn't kind of think about. And I can't really do all of it at Trader Joe's because as y'all probably know, Trader Joe's is a little bit limited in like their selection of like normal food. You know, they have a lot of specialty stuff. So I need to go to Aldi as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll just bring y'all along with me there maybe vlog or film a little bit while I'm there and then do a little grocery haul. So let's do that. I don't know where y'all live, but here in North Carolina, I don't even know if you can see, gas is $1.97 a gallon. Uh, that is so freaking exciting. I feel like gas has not been under $2 in like 10 years. <laughs> I don't actually know, but I love it. So we made it to Aldi. It's like a lot busier here than it was at Trader Joe's, so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film in there. We'll see. to show you what I got. This first thing is like the least exciting of all time, but it's one of those necessities. This is the stuff from Aldi, by the way. Got a big old thing. A toilet paper, 12 rolls. So then from Aldi, I also got a dozen eggs. We always literally go through so much eggs, so I literally get like at least one or two things of eggs every time I'm there, and I'm there a few times a week. So we always get a ton of eggs. I also got my husband a few, well, a lot, like eight or 10 yogurts. He eats at least two yogurts every day, so we always need a million of those. He specifically likes the um, strawberry kind. And then I got a bunch of bananas, because again, he eats two of these every day, so we always need a ton of bananas, and I don't understand why they're so green. Like, usually they either have super yellow, where they're too yellow, or they have too green. They never have, like, a good selection of, like, ripe bananas. And then I got some cheese slices. We specifically use these for, like, grilled cheese and, like, breakfast sandwiches and stuff. I know this is, like, that really gross, like, fake cheese. We use our, like, Havarti and, like, our American, like, our nice cheese for, like, sandwiches, but... We have specific purpose for like this fake imitation cheese and we actually really like it. <laughs> and then I got a big bag of frozen broccoli. This is like one of those steamer kinds that you just put in the microwave. We're having this as a side one at night for dinner. I'm making a couple recipes, so some of this stuff is for um, recipes for this upcoming week. So I have a can of stewed tomatoes, a block of cream cheese. I literally just buy cream cheese constantly because we use cream cheese so much. I got a packet of instant potatoes because I do not make potatoes from scratch. That is too much of a headache, so I always get those. I got a bag of Italian-style shredded cheese, a big old thing of bologna. I don't know about y'all, but I love bologna. My husband like won't go near it, but I think bologna's delicious. And then I got one of these big um, three meat pizzas, like just one of these frozen pizzas, just because it's a fast, easy dinner, you know? And then from Trader Joe's, our original destination. I only got a few things, but I had a lot of fun in there. So as y'all saw, I got a big thing of baby arugula. This is my favorite lettuce. I can literally just eat this for days. And then I think I also showed, I got just this big bag. Look at this. Not that big of a bag, but there's a lot of Brussels sprouts in here. Of these little Brussels sprouts, I love just like throwing these in the oven with some seasonings, and that'll be a side for dinner one day this week. I got a huge butternut squash. The best part about Trader Joe's is they, well not for everything, but for a lot of their vegetables, they just charge 
like $1.99 each regardless of the size so like you could get a little one or you can get this massive one and they're the same price so I got like the biggest one I could find I'm making like a slow cooked like stewed pork and butternut squash dish that my husband loves so I needed one of those I'm so excited to try this I've had this on my like Trader Joe's want to try list forever this is the sweet onion bacon vinaigrette look how good this looks like look at all the stuff in it it just looks delicious so I wanted to make a salad with the arugula and some goat cheese and then put this on it I feel like that's gonna be so good so I'm so excited to try that and then the last thing I got was the chili lime seasoning I don't really like have a plan for this necessarily but like I've seen this so many times and I've always wanted to try it so I finally just went for it I really don't know like what to expect of it but I just feel like it'll be good on so many things and actually I just went to Aldi yesterday and got these um, I'm gonna be giving these as like a little um, kind of like pregnancy or like baby shower gift she's having a girl so I got like the pink and like purple little bottles um, these are from Aldi these are actually super good and I just love the packaging they're just called winking owl so actually those are from Aldi if y'all are interested but this is the actual haul of everything that I got so that is going to basically be it for this video I hope that y'all enjoyed I know this is kind of a little bit of a random thing but I freaking love grocery shopping I love like grocery store shop with me and grocery hauls and stuff so hopefully y'all do too if you do I would be happy to bring you along more often it's fun for me to film and I go grocery shopping a lot so thank you so much for watching I hope y'all enjoyed if you would like to subscribe we would love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time I will see y'all in our next video bye guys